So this is the quick demonstration about changing colors, fonts, etc. in your application. So by default, your application is going to use the Redwood theme. If you want to change colors, then you go to your application and you click on settings where it says Redwood, you can create an override. The override is based on the Redwood's table um, theme. Okay, and the override is in this file. You can see over here that we're pointing you to a location where you can find a set of variables that would help you control behavior. So for example, if I take this over here, um, over here you would find a list of all the variables that you can change. Now, for example, if you wanted to change the way that button looks like, you can do a search here for buttons and find a bunch of entries that control how default buttons look like. Okay. And for example, we can pick up this, those two properties over here and then go back into our application. Okay. And inside here, paste those two things. Uh, we're going to, of course, remove the remarks on those. Like that and then we can change it so for example we can say that the button it needs to be a little bigger so maybe something like four and then um, the radius okay over here we can do something like two okay now let's look at the impact on our page okay the uh, button is bigger oh so for the radius we should say something like this and now you got a rounded button over here, okay? So this would apply to any new button that you would put on the page. So for example, if I were to take another button and add it over here, it would also be rounded, okay? So this is global setting for everything. Now, what if you only wanted to do this for a specific button? In that case, you can define your own style. For example, we can call this the My button. Okay. And instead of having the settings over a hole in, in the root, we can place the settings in this style, the My button style. Okay. I'm going to copy the name here and go back here. If we now do a refresh, we're back to normal buttons. But then I can pick this specific button, look up the class, and then assign the My Button class to this one. And then this specific button becomes different. The same concept would apply to any other component on the page. For example, if we take this table, if we wanted to make this table have bigger um, spaces in the line, for example, or different colors. If we go over here and we search for table, Okay, you would find that table as well as other collection components are all bunched under the collection settings. And one of the things you can set here is the collection row height. Okay, so for example, again, we can take this property and for example, place it in our override like that, and then remove the remarks on this and make it, again, a little bigger. So for example, we'll do six instead of three, okay? If we now go back to our page and do a refresh, okay, you can see much bigger space in the row, okay? If we wanted to change, for example, the color of the text over here in the title, you, again, would look up in the variables. You would see uh, that we have um, aspects like the collection over here um, with the header font and things like that. So for example, we can pick up the OJ color for the text and go back here, place it here. And for example, say that we want it to be blue. Okay. If we go back to our page and hit the refresh, the title is now blue. And again, just like before, this can be applied over all the tables in your page, or you can do it for a specific table, again, by picking up and defining your own class.